All right. By the way, let's see if we, yeah. So you can also activate the streamlines. So you see the streamlines connecting the flow between injection well and the production well. And in 3D view, streamlines. You see, show grid, no? You can show the streamlines, okay? Connecting the injection well, the, the water. Yeah, it, it shows the connectivity between injection well and production well. So you see. Okay. It's beautiful. You can adjust the setting, the setting of the streamlines by clicking in this button. Okay. General well options streamlines here. All right. Line width, let's say I change, I increase the line width to three. Okay, and apply and you see the line width of the streamlines will be thicker. Okay, you can also change the color, main color, undercurrent layer, blue, overcurrent layer, red. You can also apply cut to streamlines or use unicolors. If you have more than one well, you can make use of this feature, use unicolor. But right now we only have one injector, so go back. I think it's more beautiful. You can also change the density of the streamline. In this case, five meter cube per day per streamline. Okay. All right. Let's let's see the progress of the streamline. So I, I I move the time slider. So it's it's still only production well. So the streamline you see the well tries to drain the fluid from all directions. Go to mobile in place instead. So still production well so the streamline only coming from production well i will go back to saturation map and then injection well now the streamline from in the injection well it connects to the production well from several direction first this one the shortest distance and then the water moves to that direction, but it flows across this yeah, area and then go back to the production well. Beautiful, right? But the most important thing is the water has been broken through the production well, but still the water cut only 32% at the end of the, the simulation. So the well hasn't been shut in. So I will deactivate the, the streamline. Go back to the original time. So I, I will stop here. And in the next video, I will put a new injector even closer to this production well, okay? In such a way that the water from the new injector will increase the water cut at this production well, such that the water cut limit will be reached 
and the well, the production well will be shut in by the simulator. Okay, and we will do that in the next video. So thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next T-Navigator videos. Thank you.